Hi friends, welcome to Bella Stitchery. It's Tutorial Tuesday and this is a very exciting one because one of the things I like almost as much as crafting is Bath and Body Works. And when they have their candle sale, you know the one where it's like buy six, get 27 free and you just load up on everything. This is one of my drawers in my house and I saw this idea on Pinterest to make your own peonies out of fabric and flames, I said, let's do this. This sounds right up my alley. Now, full disclosure, I've not tried this yet. <laughs> I've looked at the pictures though, and I was like, how hard could this be? My husband said, please have water on standby, because he's not here right now, you see what I'm saying? So, really exciting stuff. I'd like to give a quick thank you and a shout out to Lisa at Joanne, who helped me pick my fabric and has graciously offered her home should this go terribly wrong. So thank you, Lisa, for supporting the arts in a very possible literal way. So the first thing you're gonna need is some kind of pretty dreamlike fabric. Chiffon, organza, this is a blend. Let me check my Joanne receipt here. I believe it says satin face organza. I think she said this was a polyester blend too. It's a little bit thicker than some of your like chiffons and organzas. See that? I don't do a lot with fabric. So this was new to me. I just wanted to find two colors that looked about the same consistency. She assured me any fabric will burn. So that's good. We got what we needed. So what we're gonna do, and I'm just gonna do this freehand, cut some circles. I want to layer my flowers. I want a nice cream with the darker pink beneath. So I'm gonna cut these in a slightly smaller circle, these in a slightly bigger circle. If you want to make a bunch of these that are all the same, then you could measure, you could even make a circle template. Now, I figure they're gonna curl up a little bit, so probably doesn't matter too much how perfect it is. I'm just gonna roughly cut a circle. This is how I do all of my crafting, by the way. It's just, you know, we'll see. We'll see how this works. I figure the best way to try any new somewhat dangerous craft project is to have a bunch of witnesses. So <laughs> y'all are here. As you can see, my circles are not perfect, but that's okay. We're just gonna see if it works. I have four here because I layered my fabric. Now I'm gonna do some with this cream. Try to fold this up in a similar way. Always having an awareness of where my flame is. See, I have a flame ready here. Ta-da! This is tis the season. It is delightful. What is your favorite scent? While I'm busy cutting flammable fabric near a flame. What is your favorite scent at Bath & Body Works? I kind of love everything. My current favorite, although I don't like gingerbread in real life, they had this gingerbread lotion that came out over Christmas break. Oh my gosh. I wish I'd bought more because then they go, you know, to the next season. So good. Everywhere I went, people were like, wow, you smell good. I was like, thank you. <laughs> just kidding. I just don't get that a lot. Okay. So I'm going to cut some smaller circles here. Now I want these to be fairly petal-like. So I think what I'm going to do is cut so they're not just circles like this. I'm gonna cut some little notches and see if those will curl up a little bit more like petals when it burns. That's the assumption. Again, I don't work with fabric all that much and I've never tried this yet, so I feel like that would work, you know, with my non-existent physics degree. Okay, let's cut this. Cut some of these. Cut some of these. Okay, let's see what happens. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna take my candle. I feel like I should probably start fairly high up. Have any of you done this before? I really wish you could uh, live chat with me right now. 
from the pictures, it looks like they just gently hold them above the flame. Oh, it kind of does work. Look at that. I don't know how close. Don't want to catch it too much on fire. I just want it to curl and kind of singe the edges. Yeah, that's looking pretty cool. It seems like it's awfully close to the fire. Maybe this is why in a lot of the Pinterest photos they're using tea lights. I'm not sure. But you know, we're just going to do it. Worst that could happen is I throw it in a bucket of water, right? It's kind of a cool... It almost reminds me, have you ever singed your hair? Ooh, that's kind of cool though. Look at that. I want to see if I could get these. Woo! A little too close. It's fine. Nobody panic. I'll try to get these inside edges here. Oh yeah, that is kind of cool. Okay, this is kind of fun to do, my friends. If you haven't tried it yet. Okay, so there's a pedal. Okay, I'm very excited. No problem. I'm not sweating. Are you sweating? No alarms have sounded. Everyone's cool. My dogs may be a little freaked out. Okay, these I'm getting a little too close. They're kind of getting burned. Not really sure. We're just going to kind of experimenting together here. Okay. So I guess the trick is not to, because see, the other one didn't get burned. This is interesting. I'm not sure why this one. Maybe I'm just acting more confident with this one. Okay. All right. Okay. Oh, there's my neighborhood watchdog. Okay. This one. I might just not use. I don't like it. I don't like the way it's going. Let's try another one. Well, the good news is it's a fairly quick thing to do. So I'm gonna try to curl the rest of these in fast forward so that you're not bored. But this is the process. Then we'll layer them together, okay? All right, I'll check back in a minute. Okay, I'm back. Look at that, fire free. Now I'm gonna put all these together. I think I'm gonna use hot glue for this. You could also, depending on what your center of the flower is gonna be, you could also sew through it, whatever you want. I am just gonna try, I put a sheet of paper under me, whoa. See, some of my edges got burned. Okay, I feel like I got better as I went along. I may need to make this a few times, but honestly, it isn't really that hard. I might just trim some of those burned edges off because I kind of like the petals. Um, it was kind of, I felt more confident as I went. I felt like I kind of got the hang of it. I'm not sure why some of them turned black. Some of them didn't. Maybe it was just the angle I was holding it to the flame. Not sure. Any of you fire experts out there have any feedback? This one, I just, <laughs> too close. Just a petal just melted right off, but you know what, I'm still gonna use it. So I'm just gonna put some on here. I'll just glue it on there. Let's see, we're gonna rotate our petals. Just like with any flower making or dyes, you just wanna rotate your petals. That gives that look of a fullness to your flower. And I'm gonna put this little broken one down there, no big deal. And then I'm gonna put the cream ones on top. I think that's kind of fun. What do you think? What do you think? Were you nervous? We made it. Everything is perfect. It would be interesting to see how different fabrics react to fire in different ways. Uh, let's do this one here. It was kind of fun. Yeah, I felt like back in science class in like high school. Okay. So here's my flower. I kind of like it. You could leave it like this. It almost reminds me of a lily, like a lily pad flower. 
I'm gonna try to trim some of these burnt edges. <laughs> Don't tell anyone this happened. <laughs> We're just, this, this part's gonna stay between us, okay? We're just gonna trim a little bit. It's like when you burn food, you just kinda, you scrape off the burn on the toast. No big deal, it's still good. Still toast. Butter makes it better. Just scrape off the burn pieces. And then never talk about it again. Okay, so we're gonna do that. Okay. <laughs> okay, I do like this project. Just maybe got a little bit too close in some places. Okay, so let me cut off this one too. It is kind of cool though, and it's kind of, you know, it reminded me of like the old movies where like a lover is burning their love letters over a candle. It kind of has that, it's kind of a romantic thing. I don't know. Okay, so I thought for this one, I would try some glass glitter in the middle. This is silver glass glitter. This I got, oh gosh, a long time ago from an Etsy seller. You can buy them. I think Prima Marketing also makes glass glitter, but it's very chunky, sharp. Um, but it kind of, I think, goes really well with this kind of look, this kind of shabby chicness. So I'm going to hold my petals open, throw some hot glue in there, a little dollop, and I'm just going to pour some glass glitter right on there. And by some, I mean half of it. That's what we're doing. <laughs> ah, just going to dab it down there. Okay. Just do this, remembering it is glass, okay? Try to get all the loose ones out of the petals there. And that's still gotta set up a little bit, the glue there. But there's my flower. So now, let's, let's use it. Let's use it to make something. Now this, I think, would also be cute with like uh, pearls in the middle, beads, tiny jewelry pieces, you know, like how you get like those rhinestone clusters for like earrings. That would be cute in the middle too. I'm gonna put a little bit more glue behind some of my layers here. And then let's put together a simple card. See what it looks like as a finished embellishment. I will be back. Okay, I'm back from the break, ready to make a card. So what I did in the meantime is I added some feathers behind my flower from a boa. I also got it at the craft store was much cheaper this way than to buy a package of feathers. And then you just pull off the ones you want. You have a bunch here. So what I did is I just glued some to the back, freehand cut another circle of cardstock just to kind of make sure the feathers were all in place there. And then look at that. I was thinking too, how cute would this be on a headband or a hair clip or a brooch? So cute. Okay. Anyway, let's get back to cards. So I cut some cardstock from Lemoncraft. Uh, I don't know what this paper collection this is. I think like a wedding one maybe. And I'm just gonna glue it down. This is gonna be a super quick card because the star of the show is our pretty little fire flower there. I'm glue this on top here. I really want it to be kind of a neutral color palette. And then this chipboard is from Prima. I'm gonna glue that under there too. I love chipboard. Texture is very important when working with monochromatic color schemes because you need all these pieces to kind of stand on their own too without having a lot of color to compete with. So then I was thinking, put my little flower there. What do you think? I am so excited about this new project. Okay, cuteness. Oh, gravy, that's cute. And really, if you make a bunch at a time, put these in like a container or a baggie that you could just use whenever you want. You may even be, I don't know, more, <laughs> more good at this than I am because um, it was a learning curve. Let's, let's talk about what we learned today, shall we? A, the circles don't have to be perfect. Bonus. Look at that. My circles were hideous. You would never know it. B, a little bit of flame at a time. Really watch that flame. I think if I had trimmed the wick on the candle first, it may not have given me so much soot. Hmm, good to think about. I'll have to try that again later. Um, C, have fun with it. 
If you mess it up, throw away that layer or just trim it up. But really, I think it's quite adorable. Um, let me know what you think. Would you comment? Let me know your feedback. Again, if you've done similar flowers or worked with other material, but this kind of idea, let me know how it went for you and what you would suggest. Subscribe to my channel, ring the bell, check it out and try it out. Let's make some stuff. Bye.